Purina Pro Plan Grape and Smoothies. Lithuanian Grape Juice. Ooh, what am I gonna do with my coffee? It's okay, Dexter. Mama's okay. Quit acting like you didn't tear up the rug. We all know you did it. Welcome to the channel. We're just a couple of empty nesters from Tennessee. Well, hey guys. I didn't know you all were hanging out in here. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Are you sleeping? A little bit. I love it when you snuggle with your mama. I do. I do, I do, I do. Can you look at the camera? Good job. <laughs> You're a mess, Dexter. I love you. Good afternoon. It is Saturday, March 25th. Had a great day today. George and I are back from our trip to San Antonio. Kind of talked about Texas a little bit. Maybe see if we want to retire there, mainly to be with our grandson. So, I don't know, we're looking at that, we're praying about that. But, I thought I would do an unboxing. <laughs> I bought some stuff uh, while we were there in San Antonio and hit the button so it would deliver when we got back. Then we had a busy work week and I just didn't have time. I always love watching other people unbox their stuff <laughs> from Amazon, wherever. Um, this one is for Amazon. Got what it was. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, you may have heard me talk about, especially if you read the blog, that Dexter chewed a hole in the new carpet in my bedroom. And we looked at replacing the carpet, but it's just gonna be really expensive. I just decided to order a rug and put over it. If we do sell this house, somebody else is gonna come in and redo it the way they want it. This is nicer than I thought. Look, it's got the colors in my bedroom. I hope it's gonna work. I hope it's got the right color blue in there. But, you know, I love the colors of the ocean and that's what that bedroom is all about. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I may have to keep it and use it somewhere else. So, we'll see, we'll check it out. You'll be the first to know, besides George. Here is another Amazon box. All right, so I've been using just regular old plastic placemats for Dexter to put his food on, just so it doesn't get the floor all wet and messy. But he can be kind of messy eating his dry dog food. It goes everywhere. And sometimes he laps up water and spills it. So I ordered this. Silicon pet feeding mat. <laughs> it's a little bit different than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be more sturdy, but this will work. It's definitely big and it will work in that spot and it gives him a lot of room. So I really liked this, this lip on the edges here because that way, if there's any water that spills, it won't get on the floors. And it's got these little dots for traction. I think you can see them. Pretty happy with that. All right, what else we got? Wow, sometimes when you pick things out on Amazon, if you don't read the fine print, you get surprised. But you know how if you saw the last video, or not the last video, but a recent video where I was trying to clean the oven drip pans. Get this open. I'm going to have to use the scissors. All right, so I was trying to clean the oven drip pans, and um, I don't think I ever gave you the final results of that. Um, a lot of debris and blackness came off of the oven drip pans, but not all of them. It just didn't look very good still. So I thought I would buy these oven pan covers, the burner covers. They kind of, it matches the floor, the flooring that we have. So, um, but I really thought they were wood. They're, they're 
tin, metal, whatever, but it's okay. I'll still keep them and it'll cover up our messes till we can get something else done. Okay, so they say blessed, grateful, thankful, and gather. Kind of like we're celebrating Thanksgiving a little bit earlier, but we should be all of those things all year long. Gotta take a little sip of coffee. <sighs> mm, there's nothing like a little afternoon pick-me-up. Mm. There you go. All right, the Thrive order came in. It's up with the hair. I'm getting my hair cut on Tuesday night and I can't wait. Let's see what's in this cute little box here. It's been a while since my last order. I shared with you all what, what I had ordered. I have to put the box down on the floor. All right, here we go. I got some fully cooked, ready to eat rice and beans. And my plans for that is really to just take that to work. I could eat half of it one day, half of it another day. You could actually mix vinegar and oil with this and make a salad out of it. I might do that. I also have some green pepper I could add. I try to get creative about eating things at work. I'm trying to stay away from sandwiches and things like that if I can. So I end up eating a lot of things with rice and veggies. George and Dexter have joined me in the room. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> he has a lot to say. We might not want him to say it. <laughs> I heard you talking to yourself, so I thought I'd come and see if you were all right. <laughs> I'm good. Did you get me anything? Yeah, I got you our pizza that we're gonna have. We're just gonna do that now. All right. So it is Char, a <laughs> pizza crust. I'm sure it is. <laughs> what about you, Dexter? Oh, so nice. there's two individually wrapped crusts in here. Now this is gluten free, but we're gonna make it good. Um, I got I got the stuff today at the store: some pepperoni and the real mozzarella ball kind of cheese. I've been wanting to try this. This is purely Elizabeth vanilla pecan superfood oatmeal. It does have seven grams of sugar. It has nine grams of protein, but it's got all really good ingredients, including collagen. Uh, anyway, it just looks like very healthy. I don't mind a little bit of sugar. I'm just trying to stay away from a lot of sugar and I'm not doing a very good job of it. So this is one of those deals where if you buy one, you gotta buy two. Purely Elizabeth vanilla pecan. I also bought just the organic original. I bought some applesauce here. We'll see what that tastes like. And that has well, 12 grams of sugar, but at least it's not added sugar, but it's fruit, so there's gonna be sugar. And you had to buy two. Okay, you know, I had been working on my smoothie bar, so I bought some PB2, which is peanut butter powder, and that way I can put that easily into the shakes that I make, the smoothies. Um, you can also just add water and make your own peanut butter with it, which is supposed to be healthier. Uh, I've done that before, it works pretty good. I actually like the real peanut butter better though. But for smoothies and shakes, this is great. I bought some wild pink salmon. Probably will be putting that on salads. I also bought some Safe Catch Wild Elite Pure Tuna. So, so I got my salmon and I got my tuna. Probably keep one here and take one to work. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna do to me? Purina Pro Plan. Great and smoothies and chili. Purina Pro Plan. Dexter loves it. Well, ironically <laughs> enough, that was gonna be the next box that I opened because we had to order more of that. 
I don't know what he's up to now, but he's coming back to mess with me. <laughs> Here he comes. Let's see what's in this. Lithuanian grape juice. Organic too. Diced tomatoes. I use that in my spaghetti sauce. Organic coconut milk. I really like that on rice. We make a lot of curry and Thai kind of Chinese stuff. So two organic coconut milks. Ooh, what am I gonna do with my coffee? It's okay, Dexter, mama's okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Ah, yes, I was trying to remember. I thought, I think I ordered pizza sauce, but I wasn't seeing it in the box, and I thought, well, maybe I changed my mind. Paisana New York classic pizza sauce. Probably gonna have to add something to this, like tomato paste or some, some other kind of tomato sauce, because I think I'm gonna have to stretch it a little further but we're gonna have pizza one night this week. So I've been looking forward to that. George is usually the cook, but um, if you've watched the videos lately, you've noticed that I've been cooking a little bit more. I often try to take you along with me when I do that. So maybe we'll get a video of the pizza. It was kind of fun to just see what I had ordered and um, trying to spruce the house up a little bit for when we have company. And now that we're just kind of praying over maybe moving to Texas one day. We are just kind of starting to look at the house in a different way here. You know, like going through stuff and do we really need this? And are we gonna wanna move that? Really changes your perspective on things. Our heads are going 100 miles an hour right now. And we have a lot of things that have accumulated in this house. But you know, you can hear Dexter in the background. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that cleaning the house and going through things has been, and downsizing has been part of my goal anyway. So all of this is kind of meshing together and we're really just in prayer mode right now about retirement and moving. We know that God leads us um, and he will, he will lead us where we need to go and He'll let us know whether we need to stay or go. Time to go do something else. It's been an exciting Saturday just getting to sleep in. We had really bad storms last night. Um, and George is in the kitchen working on things, making noise. So I'm going to go. We will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, you can see what a mess he made of the floor. So here is the rug. There's the hole. And that guy right there is already interested in this rug. Dexter, this rug right here it's mama's rug and you can't have it okay you can't have it it's mama's rug you have to be a good boy can you be a good boy i think you can be a good boy no no to the rug no no to the rug you be a good boy okay okay it's a deal <laughs> it's a deal your mama's sweet baby boo yes you are but that's my rug and you can't have it and the tribe has spoken. Quit acting like you didn't tear up the rug. <laughs> we all know you did it. Mama's smart. Wasn't me. Certainly wasn't daddy. It was you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna share the making of a cucumber salad and you're gonna have to excuse my voice. I am still very sick. And this is actually taken from a dish we had in San Antonio. Okay, so I started with two cucumbers and took the skin off and then I am scoring with a fork the cucumbers and it puts just some little grooves in there and this will help the flavor and just kind of give it a little bit of texture. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of salt on the cucumbers that I've now diced. And this, we're going to let it sit for a little bit. And this is going to pull some of the liquid out of the cucumber. And then we're going to drain it. And this will help keep the salad from being too soggy. So now that these have drained, we're going to pour them in a bowl. And then we're going to start to add some ingredients so they can marinate. Okay, just a little bit of warning here. The way that I cook, I put in a splash of this and a tablespoon of that. And so this is just going to be your taste, however you want to do it. So we're going to put in some rice vinegar and we're going to add some garlic. I just happen to have some minced in a jar and going to add some soy sauce. Go lighter on the soy since it's salty. Now, you can add sugar or brown sugar. I added honey, and I just happened to have hot honey, and it worked great. All right, so we're going to add some sesame oil. I love this stuff. And then we're going to add some pepper paste, which is quite interesting. Don't add too much. Just a little dab will do it. Now, George gave me some ginger root that we had, and I grated that and put that in there. So ginger is definitely a good thing to add to this recipe. Now we're going to add a little bit of onion powder. And then I did not see a picture of the hot chili oil. Add a little bit of that to it as well. I think we added that at the last minute. And I just forgot to get a video of that. So now we're going to stir it and put it in the refrigerator. And just let it chill for at least an hour or so. Okay, I have to share something extra I've added to my smoothie bar. I bought these amazing grass greens blends, and I found that I really like using them just with ice water, and they taste great. So I'm not even mixing them with the shakes, but maybe I will one day. I also wanted to share a couple things that I take to work. One is this Bob's Red Mill Muesli Mix. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but you can put it in yogurt and it tastes awesome. I also make salads at my desk and these are the ingredients that I use. Are you just a little bit lazy? Are you a good snuggler? Yes, I think you are. You're Mama's baby Bowie. It's doggy daycare day. You get to go play with other doggies. Are you excited? Are you just wanting to sleep in? Well, I guess you can do that too. For a little while, Mama gonna go make coffee. I'll fix you something for breakfast. Am I speaking your language? Yep. And now, just a little video of making the pizza. Yum, yum. Here we go. I thought I would catch you guys up on what I'm reading now. I took this one on vacation. It's called Four Guys in a Boat. And you know, when you go on vacation, you always remember the books that you're reading when you go on vacation because you always remember your vacations. I thought this one would be a fun book. You know that I love sailing and any any book written about being on the water, I'm usually all about it. And this is kind of funny. I mean, it's just these four guys that really don't know what they're doing that go sailing. 
and they liked it the first time that they went. So they went again and again and just kept on doing it. And some of the guys rotated in and out, but it's just the shenanigans that they get into and what happens. And um, it doesn't really get too deep into any of the situations because it's just some guy recalling his memory based on some of the notes he made. and But it's very entertaining. I have laughed several times and I'm almost a little over halfway through. It's a very easy read and I'm looking forward to finishing that off. And I'm really looking forward to Prince Harry, The Spare. I took the cover off. I mean, I like Prince Harry and everything, but it was just kind of weird. You know, every time you picked up the book, you just felt like somebody was staring you down. <laughs> so I took that off and can read Prince Harry without Prince Harry staring me down. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's always been interesting to me what happens uh, in the royal family and what happens in all those buildings they live in and what it's really like. And I think we're starting to find out that that kind of life can really be hard on a person and it can be very lonely. And, you know, you think about all these people that have success and just seem to have life made. Sometimes they really don't. It's very interesting and I'm looking forward to reading this. I can't wait. Wish that I had more time to read. On vacation we had time to read and we would sit on the balcony overlooking San Antonio area. It was just so nice until the cold air moved in and then we had to come inside but it was still nice sitting in a recliner or on the sofa reading. Uh, but once we come home it's just harder. I mean you all know it's just really busy here with a lot of irons in the fire. It's a, it's a fun life, but I do miss being able to read and I actually have to put reading on my to-do list and sometimes I have to just make myself sit down and do it or maybe my feet get tired and I can't do anything else but read uh, or plan or you know scratch things off the to-do list as I've done them today. Also, I can't forget this. I've been doing pretty good about writing in my grandson's uh, journal. It's just a grandmother's uh, book of memories and keepsakes for your grandchild. So I thought, well, you know, I'll get as much done as I can. And when I start writing in it, I just keep on going because, you know, I love to write. It's just a matter of discipline and having time to sit down. But I am really making progress. I met this quarter's goal. I wanted to get uh, a quarter of the way through the book at least so that I can meet my annual goal of getting it done by the end of the year. And we all know those last few months are really hard to do anything extra. So I really kind of need to get it done before like September or October if I can. Um, have been doing pretty good about getting it done. My goal was to do it once a week, but what really happens is I'll sit down about once a month and just write and write and write while I'm sitting here doing it. I just keep going. That is that. That's what I'm reading uh, and writing. <laughs> and you all know that I do write in my blog too. I don't get as much time to do that because I'm having to share the time with the video creation, but I do what I can. And um, I really miss like the daily blogging where I just kind of wrote about my day yesterday. And maybe when I retire, I can get back to doing that. George is fixing chili. It's kind of funny because it's a warm day, you know, 70s, and we're fixing chili. We're excited about the spring days ahead. And, uh, We'll just be videoing away as we go through life. And I just appreciate all of you that uh, come and join me on Saturdays or whenever it is that you finally do get to look at the videos. I appreciate it. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep seeing them. Give me a like or a comment. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being here.